In Canada, there are calls for tougher workplace laws and better education to combat sexual violence. This comes after a series of allegations against high-profile public figures. In Toronto, CCTV's Christian Yeo tells us more about the growing national debate. Most Canadians like to think of their country as fair and progressive, but that self-image was shattered when allegations of violence, sexual abuse and misogyny against high-profile Canadians exposed an unseemly underlying social problem. It was sparked by the very public downfall of this man, broadcaster Jean Gameshi, who until recently was the golden boy of Canadian radio. His employer, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, cut all ties with the star after witnessing what they call graphic evidence of a dark, violent side. They had video evidence that he provided them of his sexual encounters with women that were so violent that they said, we can't have this attached to our leading brand. Nine women and one man have come forward claiming they were choked, hit or sexually harassed by Kameshi. Three have now lodged formal complaints with police, but he's yet to face criminal charges. He denies any non-consensual activity. In politics, the Liberal Party of Canada has suspended two members of Parliament for alleged personal misconduct against fellow MPs. And a former cabinet minister has come forward with her own graphic story of sexual assault within the corridors of power. More and more people are coming forward, not merely at the CBC, but in my practice, on both sides of my practice, the employer side and the employee side, because they're suddenly realizing that they are supported when they come out in this country. There are signs of a growing intolerance to sexual harassment across the globe. In the US, hidden camera footage showing the catcalls and advances leveled at a woman in New York City exposed the prevalence of domineering attitudes towards women. The video went viral, enraging not just women, but men too. I think it's imperative for men to stand up and say, you know, we don't want this for our, uh, our daughters, we don't want these for, uh, for our sisters, our girlfriends, our wives, our mothers. Uh, you know, we want uh, this, you know, this world uh, to be safe uh, for, for everyone. Some say better education and support for victims is the first step. Provinces like Quebec and Ontario have faced pressure to increase sex education in schools. Others point the finger at employers for failing to take on the issue boldly, publicly and permanently. The fact that some of these issues are making headlines means that we're actually going to now transition to doing more than just uh, giving lip service to talking around sexism and rape culture and violence against women, that we're going to start looking into real policies, um, real education campaigns, um, real institutional changes that are going to create uh, a difference. The accusations against Jean Gameshi and other public figures have given Canadians pause for thought. Many are asking whether enough was done to encourage and protect whistleblowers or whether many key warning signs were swept under the rug. It's a hard lesson for a country that's built its identity on the idea of fairness, equality and justice. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.